From early morning at this food distribution center, they start lining up. Some of the thousands of Afghans from this one district who now rely on their weekly rations from the World Food Program to get by. Mohammed Sharif is taking supplies back to his wife and six children. It's very important to us. If we didn't get this aid, we'd go hungry, so we're grateful. With warnings that half Afghanistan's population of nearly 40 million are now going hungry, hospitals in Kandahar city are seeing the results. The listless stares of one or sometimes two babies per bed. Nurse Liloma and her staff are treating twice as many cases as normal. Most of these mothers aren't producing milk and they don't have the money for powdered milk, so most of these babies are around one year old, but they weigh less than four kilograms. That's about half the weight they should be. So what we're seeing is a feeding tube actually going into the stomach. In the bed opposite, the even tinier features of baby Sharifa, just six weeks old and with a feeding tube trying to increase her weight from an emaciated three kilos. Kandahar province is one of the worst affected by food scarcity, but here, as in much of the country, it's also been hit not only by conflict, but the second poor harvest in four years. It went almost unnoticed amid the turmoil of the Taliban takeover, but this past year Afghanistan has suffered a severe drought affecting crops and livestock. It means this winter was always going to be tough in terms of food supply, but it's been made far worse amid the current upheaval. Back at the food distribution centre, the people of Khwaja Abad village, an hour's drive away, collect their supplies. This will be enough for their 15 extended families until the following week. We've had the drought and there's no work. What can we do? The situation was already bad and now it's worse. They, like their neighboring villages, facing the long winter ahead. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Kandahar, Afghanistan.